Hi, it's Kevin here. What I want to talk to you and show you today is a problem that can often happen with LED screens, especially for those that are outdoors. So we're here at Massey Park in uh, South Auckland and as you can see, it's a athletics field, grandstand here. And so the problem has been is that it's had an upgrade recently and a small timing screen, LED screen, has been installed, been called in to help solve the problem. So our first inspection verified that even though half the screen was working, the problem we believe was not going to be in the driving computer and the software, but actually in fact related to what we call the receiver card inside the screen. And so what we could established initially was that we could get the top half working and we could also display that content on the lower half but it was impossible to actually get both halves working together displaying the appropriate content on each half of the screen so we determined that by verifying um, whether the LED screen it was working at what stage within the cabinets was the signal failing and we determined that it was going to be the power controller that was driving the signal. Now this is not actually the power supply per se, but actually the data processing board. And one of the things that we found was that in actual fact, moisture may have been affecting the problem, even though it's quite a recent installation um, done by another company here. Um, but as I say, we've been called in. And so I've just now been over to the cabinets and actually established an actual fact there is moisture dripping down and I noticed this earlier when we came out to make our first inspection that in actual fact the moisture coming through from the fan outlet on the back of the cabinet is dribbling down. Now I'm not sure whether in actual fact that has actually been the reason why moisture got onto the border and if that is the actual fact the cause of the whole problem that's obviously water and electronics as you know don't go together and so I've now noticed that in actual fact there is a water line I've just wiped it with my hand and it's wet so we need to remove that problem and we've got a simple idea as to how to do that and then we can replace the board so come over now with me and we're going to go and actually go and sort this problem out once and for all. So here we are now at the rear of the screen and just to give you an idea of the construction. So it's a screen that's in two halves, top half and lower half. Signal comes in on this side for the power and you can see right at the very top there the antenna. So it's actually receiving its data signal wireless from over in the administration centre and coming up onto that antenna up the top and actually coming down on this cable here and that's going into the board. Now, I see it's actually in the 10 minutes or so I've been away from the screen it's actually dried out a little bit on this piece here but you can see the issue here, you can see some watermarks here and you can see the fan here that's, um, I believe is maybe moisture, condensation is happening and potentially failing on this board. However, when I look at it, it actually is raised off the surface. So maybe it's general atmospheric moisture uh, that is the problem in here. So what we're going to do, we're now going to replace it this whole assembly is where the problem exists and uh, that should then actually enable us to um, get this up and running correctly and making a number of people very happy. So uh, let me get on with the job now and we'll show you uh, the results soon. This is the actual controller as you can see and uh, yeah so this is where we believe the problem exists. So we're going to now replace these two pieces here and um, it should really just be a matter of reconnecting it all up and in theory uh, it should start working and of course we need to send the transmit the signal back from the computer back to the new boards and it should all be up and running. 
And so now we've got the cables that uh, feed directly out to the uh, rear of the LED screen to the circuit boards. So just to give you a little one's explanation here. So you can see here that we've got two rows of ribbon cables. One, two, three, four. So there's a total of eight. And one half, and we've labelled it, B for bottom and T for top. So these actually travel through here. So one set of cables goes up inside the cabinet here. And the other one you can actually see, and it loops out to the top one there, the next one here, there, and there. And so what that now does, it feeds the LED data through the row of the screens right through to each one. So you can see there's another row here, loops here, and it continues right to the very end. The same here, loops here, and across, and, and the same with up here. And so we'll just turn the power on, and uh, obviously everything's connected. And so now you can see that uh, the panels are all working. Obviously it's in the wrong language and uh, things aren't quite set up, but we can see part of the uh, clock there. And so now we have to go to the other side, to the way over here, to the administration side, and uh, re-send the display signals to the board here. As you can now see, we've got the LED screen up and running and our estimation initially that the controller board was faulty is definitely true and uh, it would appear that some of the ICs in the circuitry has been damaged by the moisture dripping down from the fan and so we've uh, put a t cover over in place so that that won't occur again. We've replaced the boards and we verified that the uh, ribbon cables and the rest of the electronics within the LED screen are fully operational and not a problem and so we're delighted now that we were uh, called in and able to solve this problem because the client had actually come to a roadblock as to being able to who they could find to be able to sort the problem out because the vendor that supplied it uh, was no longer interested and everyone's now happy we're happy the client's happy and of course the spectators are going to be happy because now they can see the times and scores of the activities that will be occurring on the sports field. So this is Kevin, our contact details are on this video and on the associated text. If you have a problem, a query, a project that you need our expertise for in any of the audio visual technologies, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.